I begin my work. After a few days, I was in the beautiful city of Strasbourg. Henry knew the city well. He showed me the beautiful old buildings. We were happy together. I found a house outside the city and began my terrible work. Henry was busy at the university. I was able to start quickly. But how I hated my work! This time, I knew what I was making. I knew I was making a monster, not a beautiful woman. The smell of blood and death made me feel ill. I hated talking to the men who brought me dead bodies. They were wicked men. I knew my work was wicked too, but I went on. I had to. Once more, I began to put the parts of bodies together. Of course, I did not tell Henry what I was doing. But then, he found out everything. It was because of my carelessness. The female monster was almost complete. In a day or two, I would give her the spark of life. I had not seen the monster, but I knew he was near. He was waiting for me to finish my terrible work. One night I was working late. I was very tired. Suddenly there was a sound outside the room. I turned in fear. "Go away!" I cried. "It is not finished yet. You can't come in. It will be ready in two or three days." "This is your friend Henry," a voice said. "I've come to see you. Why can't I come in? What's the matter?" To my horror. The door opened, and Henry came into the room. I had forgotten to lock the door. Why, Victor, what are you doing? Henry cried. He looked around the room. I did not know you had a laboratory here. What a terrible smell! There is blood everywhere. Why, oh my God, what is that smell? Don't look, don't look, Henry! I cried. No one must know. No one must know. But Henry was already staring at the female monster. What is this terrible thing? He whispered. Is it a woman? Is she dead or alive? Have you killed her, Victor? Are you mad? At first, I could not speak. I put my face in my hands and began to cry. Henry, you have found out my terrible secret. I have to do it. If I don't do it, the monster will kill again. Monster? What monster? Henry asked. You are ill, Victor. You must be ill. Perhaps I am. I replied. I must tell you everything. 